you my mother. That connection to nature is very important. As if the tree's heritage, giving a pencil that fills pages of great and small. Leaf after leaf to write about grief, where every animal has their brawl. And from the blackbirds foraging through autumn's leaves, to read the land and hear the grounds telling, yet it is cruel for the insects. As she gives and lets up, surrenders, as the bird pulls and stretches the worm from its home. Words are kicked around like leaves. What nourishment goes back into swept up leaves? Brown appears to be so boring. Who decorates with brown like a muddy painting where I have mixed too many colours together? Yet it gives the basis for growth in autumn's rotting ground churned and mushed up to a pulp, damp and full of fungicide. Like the husks of walnut in humid moisture, its warm earth pigment of Van Dyke brown, to recolour a faded patch on a cabinet, bookshelves and cupboards, tables, chairs or a chest of drawers, handles, knobs or doors, writing tables, bureaus and stools, or to walk upon beautiful wooden floors. To apply sympathetically, to conserve what was built from her. The tree's roots grip in memory soil, stretch to find water to hold the ground. There, in her stance, she gave a harvest. Apples bruise easily in their knowledge, just like most fruit as it falls from a height, to feel the infestation of worms and the insects that burrow. So seemingly laying abandoned on treachery from the tree's body. But it was that which she gave no matter what, where winter is harsh, I know myself in my cold thoughts of yesterday, but what could cut the invisible umbilical cord as I still lay in bed in a fetus position? Stay, stay, I am scared tonight, roots of anemic white, and my little shoot is barely green. I am in her, upon her, she is but around me, in the womb of her nature, as I climb and explore through the tree, gripping tightly to every arm to nestle into the curl or saddle, as if a home. From up here I can feel like a bird in their view as I sit perched, surrounded by branches as a cot, my wooden cot, and every mother recognises their child's call singing in the trees. The coverage of the canopy's world of shelter, and after her spring blossom, petals flutter in sad tales of come and go. But still I walked upon petals so dearly scattered for me. What mother could be like Mary, that carried and bore the Christ child? I know the world is harsh, memories lurk, but in the still summer breezes where colour shines, and with the beams of the marigolds, surely it is she, the ultimate mother. Thank you for listening. Hoyel. <laughs>